Hello there everybody and welcome to another Gen 1 battle. This time we are playing NU against Marky Boy. So Rapid Dash Scyther, Farfetch'd Electrode, Onyx and Cedra. Yes, Farfetch'd. <clears throat> you saw that right, because why not? Farfetch'd and Scyther pretty much do the same thing, just Farfetch'd is worse, but don't judge. Sometimes I want to try different things and uh, that's how it is. So there you go. Battle will start. Let's see how this is gonna go. He's gonna lead with his Magmar. I'm gonna lead with my Rapidash. I went for Double Edge thinking that's gonna do more damage than that, but I was disappointed. He went for Body Slam. Luckily no Paralysis. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna Fire, fire Spin and basically lock him there so I can have a free switch into something. I missed. He went for Body Slam. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. There's the Fire Spin. Incoming fire spin, and um, let's see how this is gonna go. Um, but yeah, Enu, this is our Enu, not the smog on Enu. Keep that in mind. Fire spin, in comes the Onyx, so that means free switching into something. Um, because he's basically locked in there. I'm gonna go into Onyx because I expected him to switch, expecting a water type to come in, so I did not predict that well. Because in comes his star, you and I'm like, well. There you have it. <laughs> so he went for Thunder Wave, and that's really bad because it got my Electrode in the switch in. That was absolutely horrendous. And now I'm gonna go for Toxic, expecting his own Onyx to come in. Um, since it's the only thing that I can do against his Onyx. But he ended up going into his Execute. And um, Execute can... Oh, I just don't want to risk Onyx so far, so I'm just gonna go for the... Farfetch'd as it's too obvious, so he's gonna go for the Sleep Powder, the most broken move in the game. Luckily I woke up, but it's a Farfetch, even a Psychic is gonna do that much, it's crazy. So, I'm gonna go for Slash, just, I mean Onyx coming in is obvious, but at least you, you gotta damage it. And plus I didn't want to risk having a safe switch into like... Uh, risk having a switch into my Seedra directly, so he's gonna go for, he's gonna go for Bind and I'm like, okay. Just keep going for bind, I'm just gonna make you lose your PPs as you're just binding over and over again. So as soon as someone uses bind or wrap or whatever, you, you just have to keep switching in and out because that's the only way you make him like you lose PPs pretty much. So there you have it, Sidra. Um he's gonna keep going for bind as I'm gonna keep switching around as soon as I just waiting for this either to end or I don't even know man. Just He's not doing anything because Onyx has basically no attack whatsoever, so that's pretty much it. So, in comes Staryu, and uh, this thing can Thunder Wave, can Thunderbolt, but I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm tired of this, just, just go for Blizzard, hoping for something, but of course it's not gonna happen. He went for Blizzard too, but luckily that didn't happen, so... Yeah, in comes Electrode, he's gonna go for Blizzard, um... Luckily I'm already paralyzed, so that's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna Toxic again, expecting the Onyx. And uh, there you have the Execute. So, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. Uh, I didn't. I just didn't want to take the attack from on anything else. Plus he could have went for Sleep Powder once again. And nobody wants to see that happen, so... That's, that's how it is, so... I was thinking about going into Seedra, but I was like, okay, you know what? Um... Let's just go into it, whatever, like, I can take a Psychic, hopefully no special drop, and it did happen, there's the special drop, and, yeah, what can, there's nothing that I can do about that. Blizzard, after that special drop, I just wasn't confident that it was gonna kill the, the Execute, so I switched back into Electrode, and that ended up being great, because he, with the special drop, um, his Staryu could have walled me big time, so I was like, oh, yeah. And now Toxic predicting Onyx once again, and there you have it, he finally showed up. We finally managed to Toxic the Onyx, so I'm gonna go into my own Onyx to take the Rock Slide. So it's Onyx against Onyx, and uh, I didn't see anything that is immune to Earthquake at this point, so I decided just to go for it anyways, plus I'm weak, and Execute isn't gonna do anything, so I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna rock slide, hopefully, at that range, it's stab. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm not gonna say anything, of course you're gonna miss, of course! I'm... whatever. 
He's gonna go for a rest and it's like absolutely nothing happened. So I'm gonna switch into my Baturu Hoppa and try, try to go for Fire Blast. I was thinking either Body Slam or Fire Blast. Okay, like Fire Blast, big damage, come on. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah. How many times this Rapidash is gonna miss? You don't deserve that nickname. You just don't. You don't deserve that nickname. Just forget about it. Body Slam. At least you did something, you paralyzed the Magmar, but Hyper Beam, you Wickling, of course you're not gonna survive that, what a, what a horrible Pokemon, whatever, just, just switch back into this Seedra and try to do some damage with Surf, hopefully, or Blizzard, expecting him to switch into Executes, but we're gonna miss, because, yeah, like, why not, right? Why not? Thunderbolt is obvious, Electrode, I'm... I was thinking about Thunder Wave. I actually did go for Thunder Wave, I believe. But actually I didn't. I expected the, the Onyx to come in. Because I thought that the Thunder Wave or Thunderbolt was obvious, but whatever. Now I'm gonna go back into my um, Farfetch'd. And just start damaging things, like... This is just getting ridiculous. Onyx coming in is obvious again, but I just want to, like... Get damage, basically. Just get damage. So that's why I went for Slash. Um, again, I was expecting Onyx, but... I could have switched into Seedra, but I just didn't want to risk it. So let's just get damage. Slash always crits, plus the poison damage. It's whatever, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna sack this guy. And he exploded! I was so close! I was actually thinking... Thinking about switching into my Onyx to take the explosion, but he did. I didn't see at the end, but um, in comes Arbok. I decided to like go into Onyx because what can Arbok, Arbok do to an Onyx? Absolutely nothing. He went for Glare and he paralyzed my ground type. How special is that? How special is that? I actually exploded, tried to explode, but he went for uh, for rap, and we have to play this game again. Like just whatever. Um, luckily for me, I predicted this correctly, so. Now that his uh, Onyx is gonna to try to go for Thunder Wave, but he crit me. But he crit me once again. What do you want from me? Just leave me alone already. I'm gonna miss Blizzard once again. <sighs> Apparently this was a speed tie. I did not knew that. Well, there you have it. So in comes Scyther. I'm gonna Source Dance because this is the only, the only thing I can do. He's gonna Thunder Wave me and I'm... Basically, I'm just gonna go for agility, and uh, look at this blizzard, man, like, Scyther, you absolutely have no special whatsoever, that's crazy. All I can do right now is just try and hope that Hyper Beam is gonna basically kill everything. That's all I can hope for, because I only have this guy, and Onyx. So let's see, in comes Arbok, full HP, Hyper Beam, plus two, Ride a Boom! And he survived with like 1 HP and he goes for Hyper Beam. It was good while it lasted, but what can you do? This game sometimes... Not sometimes, all the times. I need to call the Hacks Doctor. Um, what's his number? Hold on. Hello? Doctor of Hacks, is it you? Okay, I'm, I need to ask you for advice. Like, Certain things aren't like super normal as of late. Can I take an appointment? Okay, next week? Alright. Okay, thank you. See you later. Anyways, I have my appointment ready. Anyways, the Onyx will be taken down and this is gonna be the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and allons-y.